Okay, Pisces. Hi, this is going to be your reading for the beginning of June. So I'm going to start off with your uh, recent past, your present, and then we're going to move on to your near future. Then it's going to be clarified and uh, we're going to get some oracles in there and at the end we're going to finish off with some messages from your person. So not all of these messages are going to resonate. Okay, a lot of movement, a lot of movement I see here, a lot of, um, energy is a balancing act, so energy for the reading. Okay, I do see here in your recent past that you were stuck um, on thinking about something, think, stuck on what your next move is going to be. Um, it could be with your person, okay? There could have been a decision that you had to make between you and your person, um, but you did this very gracefully, okay? Here in your present, I do see that you did have choices, that you had, uh, you did have choices, um, or you, you wanted to stick to your instincts, okay? You had instincts to do this, or that you're going to do this, or you're doing this right now, obviously, you know, it's in the present. Here, it's um, where new emotion comes in, all right? You have this flow for new emotion coming into your present right now. And um, with the inner knowing, okay, and with like, uh, you have there's that spiritual authority that's with you okay you're following that spiritual authority that that intuition okay here in your present in your near future i do see that well I do see a tower moment happening for you in your near future, okay? Because of the there's like a movement that you wanted to make, okay? Um, your mind, you know, remember swords do represent mind, movement in mind. Um, you are kind of like setting problems and issues in order, okay? You are seeing like what needs to be taken care of first and what doesn't. But there is this heartbreak that I see here. Get some clarifiers out here. Yeah, you were stuck in your head whether you wanted to um, have this victory with this person or not, right? You didn't know whether to have this victory with this person. Um, okay, also I do see here that... Um, <clears throat> That you, you were thinking with your head. You know what, I'm gonna leave that there. You were thinking with your head and not your heart, okay? When it came to you and your person. All right, but because you did this so gracefully to kind of like separate or, you know, not really focus all your attention on your person, you're healing from that. When you, try, when you decided to make that decision, that was you starting to heal instantly, right? Um, Uh, the choices that you made were kind of 
kind of like not really all there. They were kind of immature, okay? Maybe the thoughts that you had, okay? Um, wow, the deck, heartbroken. Okay, um, and it is somebody with uh, of your from your past, okay? Uh, you do have happy memories and you do want to have like this new, you, uh, you, you are having this kind of like, energy to like where you do want what you once had with this person okay or they 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 want it you know take whatever resonates those are my puppies <laughs> um so here with the knight of uh the knight of wands on the hierophant um it does show like that clarity where there's gonna be um victory okay where you did want victory Where you are going to head towards victory, I hear um, April, somebody's name. I don't know why that just came up. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have like you're gonna have a lot of action towards like what, where you're going. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of movement, creative movement going on, right? Um, here with your problem setting in order, that's that was your biggest burden. Okay, though that's an accomplishment. When you have a ten, that means you've completed whatever had to be completed, right? Here with the tower, it's kind of like where um, you're going to. You're going to start focusing on what remains, right? Not on the past anymore. You're not going to cry over spilled milk. That's your tower. Oof. Okay. And um, for... Uh, okay. So in your near future here with the heartbreak, you're going to see the bigger picture about your heartbreak. What happened, you know? That's... And there's karma the bottom of the deck it's kind of like the moon right wow okay i took way too long on this yin you want to start having that feminine energy you want to fall back you know gender fluid and tarot you want to have you want to fall back and you want to start like manifesting to where your manifestations come to you Yeah, observer, you want to have perspective, okay? You want to have faith in whatever you're manifesting as well, okay? Um, it could be like you're starting to manifest your person back, okay? This, maybe you were thinking like this heartbreak was not supposed to happen. How it ended, it was, maybe it was kind of like a misunderstanding, right? Thank you, spirit. Uh, 2, 49, and 30 could have some significance in, um you're reading right now for you or whatever resonates this is t it's timeless okay so yeah it's all about divine timing i know we've heard that numerous times but you know you, if you focus something on too like, if you focus too much yeah there's that crumbling there's that crumbling effect okay what are you clinging on to right what are what is it that you're clinging on to what is, what is bringing you in the near future, this five of cups, okay? You want to see that, okay? So that those are the burdens that you want lifted off of you, right? Those are the burdens that you want to accomplish and that you want to take responsibility for, right? Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So again, this was also, I think this was Capricorn, I'm pretty sure. This, this happened for Capricorn as well, um, where they had to unleash stuff too, but we're talking about you, right? Okay, so um, yeah, and you're not alone, remember? Divine orchestration, helpers, and subtle realms. Like, you're you're never alone. You're always, your spirit guides are always with you. So you want to communicate with them a little bit more, I feel. Okay, instead of, yeah. You want to communicate with them a little bit more. Children, okay, you could be working with children, or you could have known this person like from childhood. 
all right they're worth waiting for okay this love your person is worth waiting for so your love is being affected by children so what is it you guys could have had children together all right uh, divine timing is at work in your love life. Remember, it's timeless. Remember, divine timing. Divine timing came up twice, okay? So you don't want to rush into things. You want to just, you know, what what is it that is making you rush anyway, right? What is it that's making you rush? Like, what's the rush? Um, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to um, of fun to shine okay you could be like on a very serious like note right now i'm kind of feeling like ugh, like i'm not gonna do that like i'm not i'm not for that right now that's what i'm feeling you're the shit don't forget it don't forget that you're the shit thank you spirit don't fucking force it what am i doing i can't make this up Allow that shit to come to you with that feminine energy, that yin energy. You want to start letting shit come to you, right? You look like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I took this one. You are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. Pisces, what is going on with you? Get your shit together. Stop being shady. Don't force it. You are the shit. <laughs> okay. So, we're 11. Okay, so let's get some messages from your person. Oh. inspire me this is, this is adorable okay messages for pisces for pisces from their person that's too many i would have taken them all day but <laughs> okay so here we go Would you reject me? I still love you. So this person obviously still has feelings for you as you can clearly tell Pisces. Our connection still affects me. Obviously, okay, I think you're a little bit harsh with your words with your person. Pisces. And remember, uh, yeah. Maybe you thought on your side it was good. Like, yeah. No other compares to you. I've thought a lot about you lately. I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. I feel your love around me constantly. I've looked you up online to see what you have been up to. Uh, you and I were too young. Yeah, maybe this was like, this was like some sort of like puppy love you thought it was going to be, or you guys thought it was going to be puppy love, but this, you know, it actually turned into something different than you guys were expecting, right? But you got to figure out what is best for you right now, right? Why did this happen? Dude, this person's like all stuck in their head. Like your person is stuck in their head right now. I knew exactly what I was doing. Maybe you could have told this person that they didn't know what they're fucking doing. You don't know anything about love, blah, blah, blah. You know? You were the best thing in my life. And again, don't pressure me. What's up with all you guys pressuring your person? All right, Pisces, this has been your reading for the beginning of June. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.